move over to our very final story. Now, last week we talked about the APC not being in um, at a unity, not being in uniformity with regards to what sort of election mode they should use, the direct primaries or the indirect election. Now, eventually, they chose, um, and last week we're seeing that there are reports with regards to some governors not being in support of the decisions that have been making. Last week, decision of the ruling All Progressive Congress APC to adopt direct elections for its forthcoming Congresses and presidential primaries has widened the gulf between the state governors and other chapters of the party on one side and Comrade Adam Sushomale National Working Committee on the other. Now, we also have reports that despite warnings by the party to heavily reprimand those who go contrary to its resolution, the governors allegedly acting through the state chairman met yesterday in Abuja and agreed to distance themselves from the earlier decision of the National Executive Committee. This is coming despite President Muhammad Buhari's intervention. At least 30 of the state chairmen were locked in a meeting at a hotel in Abuja where they were among others proposing a vote of no confidence on the Antam Sushomale led National Working Committee. The president's rebuke of those orchestrating the destabilization plot came as the APC earlier yesterday warned those being used to stoke the crisis to step off, warning that stern disciplinary action will be taken against them. The chairman and a few national officers outside the NWC gathered were reportedly being edged on by a few governors with a two southern term governor champion in the move. Now, we talked about this last week, and the APC had not decided, but eventually they came to the decision to use the direct mode for elections. Now, just in case some people do not understand, the direct mode ensures that anybody who has, who is a card-carrying member of the party can vote to decide who becomes a flag-bearing leader or who becomes a flag-bearer of the party. However, the indirect mode of voting ensures that what is done is that there are, there, is a, there are delegates that are being elected. These delegates are the ones who go into a room and decide who becomes the governorship or the presidential ca uh, flag carrying member of the party. Now, the downsides to this would be that with the electoral college or the delegate system, some people have alleged that there could be some sort of vote influencing, that all that is required is for the aspirants to go and give some heavy ganamos goals, quote unquote, to those who are the delegates to decide at the end of the day that they emerge as the party card carry or the party flag bearers. However, the direct primaries have shown that this one allows more people to be involved. The downside to this would be that some people have argued that we've not been able to sustainably and sufficiently conduct elections. How are we going to be able to ascertain the number of those who are card carrying members of the APC that even as, as a country we haven't been able to ascertain this? However, more people have urged, urged on to the fact that the direct primaries are a more reliable form because they allow more people, they allow for transparency and all. At the end of the day, we hope that the APC will be able to sort out its internal party issues because a house divided in itself cannot stand. And if they cannot amongst themselves be subject to law and order, subject to the decisions of the National Working Committee, then at the end of the day, how can they now show that they are ready to lead Nigeria? How, they, how can they now show that they are ready to participate in the polls, showing that they are not ready to subject themselves to the decision that have been made within their party. We'll be bringing you updates on these stories, of course, when we look so more into trending stories. Remember, we do the same time every day. And of course, Ezu Guchukudi and Leila Johnson Salami will be joining us tomorrow to look extensively at what's trending in Nigeria. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.